sample resume or professional resume. A good resume will be an outline of your work history, accreditations and references made up mostly of bullet points. You must avoid using paragraphs as they make your resume very hard to read. An employer may have to read through hundreds of resumes. Resumes that are quick and easy to read are the ones that get the interview, providing that they qualify for the employer's requirements. The purpose of a resume is to get the job interview, not to secure the job. If possible, a resume should be a cover letter and one page of your work history, accreditations, and references made up of mostly bullet points. Your cover letter should be short and easy to read, made up of one or two paragraphs focusing on the fact that you are a well-qualified, hard-working team player. Here is a sample uh, of a resume, a free sample for you to modify. Now here's the uh, sample resume cover letter using a fictitious name, Jesse Woods, who lives in my city, New York. And in this cover letter, this is just a very short two paragraph, which is actually two sentences. Of course, you can modify this, you know, for your needs. But remember, keep it very short because, like we already said, uh, an employer is looking through hundreds of resumes and if he has to read a big long story he is going to grow weary of your resume and put it on a pile that doesn't get a call back so basically in the first paragraph you're applying for a position with a company now you can actually change this to whatever position you're applying for I am dependable, enthusiastic, and hardworking person. Now, this is uh, where we talk about your dependability, your hardworking, and in here, I am confident that I will be a productive member of your team. So, the key things here in this sentence, you're talking about being a play, a team player, and in this sentence, you're talking about being dependable and hardworking. Attaches my resume for your consideration. I'm looking forward to a personal interview at your convenience. So very simple, straightforward, uh, doesn't have to be much more than this. Just add a few things that are relevant to the job you are applying for. And then here's the sample resume of the main page. So we got the Jesse Woods, the address, and the email address here on the top. Then the objective, to obtain a position offering an opportunity to use my skills and become a productive member of your team. Now this resume has been formatted to fit this website. It's poorly formatted because it doesn't, you know, properly fit on this website. You can download the properly formatted copy of this resume template. Um, let's just look a little bit more at the resume before I show you the link. So and under here is the work experience. You can see that an employer can quickly see what you have been doing for the past few years and the education, accreditations, and references. Now if you click this link you can get the properly formatted copy of this resume. And I will, I've already opened it here so I will just let you have a look at it. I'm using uh, OpenOffice which is a free office program can open Microsoft Office documents, save Microsoft Office documents, or it can save to open Office format, whichever you like. And here is properly formatted cover letter. Same cover letter, but formatted properly on this first page. And then the second page is the properly formatted main page of the cover letter. And this is how it should look the name, the address, and the email, quick and easy. The objective, to obtain a position offering an opportunity to use my skills and become a productive member of your team. There's that word team again. Make sure that you use that term in your cover letter 
and in your main page because an employer is looking for someone to be part of his team and one of the main problems employers have is having finding good employees that work well on a team so you've already piqued his interest with just this now provided that your work experience here is uh, what the employer is looking for and he can see that you you know been working in the field that he is interested in whether it's accounting clerk or whatever it is if you can see that you're looking to work on a team work hard and you have the experience you can quickly see all the way from June 2021 to January 2026 what you've been doing in a matter of seconds you can see your education your accreditations and references don't be afraid to put your references. I know people are telling you don't put your references. This is nonsense. You want to have an edge over your competition. If your competition is afraid to put references and you are not, you are going to get the interview. Now the purpose of the resume is to get the interview. You're not trying to secure the job in your resume. You're trying to get the employer interested in you so that he calls you and sets up an appointment to interview you and you have to be prepared for that interview that's not what the resume does the resume gets you the interview don't try to secure the job in your resume you will fail you will not get the interview somebody else with this kind of resume will get the interview and then in the interview of course you want to sell yourself and the employer is going to ask you questions like what do you do in a situation of conflict and they will ask you in the past in the past jobs and you had a conflict what did you do you need to prepare in your mind before you go to the interview these kind of answers and how you dealt with it well and how you didn't lose your temper and how you first to try to solve the problem yourself and then if it, that didn't work you went to your supervisor and calmly and professionally dealt with an issue and came to a resolution these are the things that you do in the interview to win the job not in your resume so that's the end of that for this uh, sample resume this is a very uh, you know what we call the best resume this is the resume that gets you the interview of course it's got to be modified you know to suit your needs but try to keep it one main page one cover letter now if you want to go a third page for s copies of some of your accreditations that's a maybe not a necessity you may want to put uh, photocopies of some of your accreditations on a third page and uh, that's also considered to be easy to read because you're just flipping the page and seeing copies of the accreditations that's that's fine but keep it to two pages a cover letter and a main page if you possibly can because like I said before you know your employers are looking at hundreds of resumes they need to quickly look through here and see what you've been doing Okay, so we'll close that. And that resume we were talking about is the best resume. Uh, actually, it's the best resume with cover. It's two page. Or you can just download the main page here. There's some other resumes that you can use if you don't particularly like the best resume. Uh, these are all free to download. And they've been saved in these different formats. Office, Microsoft Office, and Open Office, whichever one you prefer.